You're watching First Take, presented by Bass Pro Shops. Portals is going to throw, intercepted, Norman may score. 20 down the left sideline, 15, 10, it is a touchdown, no flag, Josh Norman took it to the house. How do you expect your transition to this defense to go? Well, um, I think it's going to go well for me. I don't know. This is football. I don't, I don't put too much emphasis on anything. Um, it's X's and O's. They're a player against the, our best player, and we're going to see who's going to win. take from Richmond, Virginia. Dinner on this man. He made his name at the Carolina Panthers, <laughs> no. got paid by the Redskins, the highest paid corner in the NFL. Josh Norman, thank you for being with us again. Thanks, man. I Congratulations it. on this deal. 50 million guaranteed. You heard me say highest paid corner wow. in the NFL. What does that mean? Ah, got to keep going for more. Got to keep striving for be the best you can be. And um, that is just one of the, you know, stepping stones that God blessed me with to be able to accomplish. But I'm looking for more, you know, I'm looking for more to do. Um, that's just one of the things that, you know, obviously he blessed me with. Um, but I don't look at it as, you know, I have that mm -hmm. because I don't feel like I still do because I work out here like I don't. So we know you paid. You should be very, very happy about that. Uh, but we also know how much you loved Carolina. And uh, how has it been being here? And, and how long were you shaking up about being uh, about departing from Carolina? Well, uh, obviously, the, the human side of you, of course, is going to feel some type of way because you've been there all your life, you know? You, you're trying to build an organization and build there. You've seen it from the bottom up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been in that. You had your hand in that. Yep. You helped mold that. And when you're not in it, dang, it just feels like a, a big, like, like gut punch. Like, you, you help, like, that's kind of your baby in a way. And the guys that you grew up with, you're not there no more. Of course there's going to be that feeling that's that human side of you but at the same token you got to understand uh, was i growing there the guy see me fit to stay there he have other measures for me to go and expand and meet new people and help them out and grow in other places of course and that's why you know washington redskins was a perfect fit for me because of what all they brought to the table and what i was looking for now i got messages today josh norman's like make sure he's there don't duck me, so I'm here. In the flesh. Oh, why did you want me to make? Why did you want to make sure I was here? No, I'm just. Why do I want to make sure you want to hear? I like how you throw in there back at me though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, John, let, I, was, had, did it have something to do with Odell Beckham comments? Man, it ain't had nothing to do with none of that. Um, I just think that. To know to understand the position to how you know you, you guys was talking about me out here in the practice field getting beat up um, by a wide receiver on one-on-ones and it's just one-on-ones in practice of course, I, uh, that's I, I wasn't happens. making a big deal out of that i mean i mean it's just like gosh oh it's world war three like oh man right. bones of a bad dad out right. here like i wasn't I, making I, a big try, deal out of that i, I don't think that's out. fair to you that a, one, a dude like deshaun jackson puts one move on you in practice and it's all over the internet that's not what i'm talking about <laughs> so what, what i'm talking, talking about, about is the game against odell where it's like josh norman did a great job on him and i give you credit you're so competitive i think you got into his head because he dropped what would have been a, a touchdown catch okay. let's talk but about he did beat you on the play let's <laughs> talk about that drop okay yeah um First off, I'm going to go back and clarify that because everybody thought it was a man, which is right. not true. All right. And clarify. It was not man. Right. It's cover four. So in cover four, I'm looking outside. Quarter. Of course, yep. quarter, quarter, half. That is how you play it. So quarter safety is going to be there. But at the same time, I'm not passing no blame on nobody for what they do. I'm going. I'm looking. Looking back at the quarterback. I see him break. I look back. Nobody there. I'm running to go and catch him. And I said some things, who knows what I'm saying. I'm not going to tell you on the field. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, looking back, he dropped the ball. But at the same time, that's on him. That's not on what I've done or anything like that. But at the same time, go back and watch the film and see what coverage you were in. So for you to say that and say we was man on that play from everybody seeing that and how, oh, he got beaten up, check it out. Watch the full thing. I look well, back, I'm up. running, right. speeding up, so it's not like we plan. Can one, you one, play one, man on Odell? Listen, you're in the NFC East at that position. What you've been paid to do now is ridiculous when you consider the receivers in the division. Can you play man defense in this day and age with these rules and these receivers in your division? 
Wow. Well, like I said, you probably have to go back and watch the film because um, that's what I've done when we played them last year. Um, it's no different. I played the two guys in our division last year, Dez and Julio. So, I mean, Dez and Odell, both of them. So, and I played a man. So it's like for me try to figure out where is all this coming well, well, from? Well, let me tell you where it's coming from. Let me answer that because we're running out of time. Let me answer that. You being paid the way that you are, with folks looking at the cornerback position, and you see a Richard Sherman, and you see a Patrick Peterson, and you see so many of these other guys, so many people trying to debate, and to some degree the players themselves playing that position, debating who's the best, who's not, responsibilities. But Terrell, Darrell Reeves talked to us about getting up on a guy, bumping, you know, playing bump and run, right. manning up and following your man as opposed to somebody that's subjected to zone schemes and playing that way. The pressure is on you with this team, who's the reigning defending NFC East champions, to step up and buffer that secondary even more. Do you feel that pressure, and do you embrace it? Pressure bursts pipes, and I don't have it. So um, do I feel pressure on myself? No. I'm not trying to come out here and prove that people are wrong. I'm trying to prove that I'm right. At the end of the day, I'm going to go out here and do what I do, play a physical style of football. In your face, smash mouth. That's what we do. And the day, I don't really care about what other people say. That's their own opinions, man. Right. Like for me, everybody look like, oh, how did he get here? I'm an enigma to people. You know, I'm an enigma. And people don't understand that. So they're trying to figure it out. And at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I got to do for my teammates. And we're going to be where we're going to be at after all said and done. Because well, last question, where that, you going to be at? I don't care. Last question, where you going to be at? Well, shoot, Meaning man. We team. out here working, trying to get a ring. That's what we're out here for. If you ain't out here doing that, then you failing. You just played with a team that went so, to the Super Bowl. You trying to say this team could go to the Super Bowl? I'm saying we're working towards our goal. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And so you know where I am on you. I admire your competitiveness. I think it makes you an excellent player. But I don't think it's possible in this day and age to man cover the, the elite receivers. Not even a knock on you. Even <laughs> you know, anybody is going to man cover us. It's Deion Sanders, right, these elite receivers. So, so if they don't catch 100 yards, if they don't have to go over 100 yards, then what that is? That's a good job in oh, terms of that's a good job wow. in terms of in wow. terms of scheming. Get out of here, man! Josh, you thank you, thank there. you, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck this All season. Right, Congrats thanks, on everything. Your new home. Hope Absolutely. everything goes well. When we come back, his teammate on defense. There, I see him, D'Angelo Hall. Come on out, up to the hot seat right now. More from Redskins camp. Stay here. How are you? Good to see you. First Take is presented by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. And in part by T-Mobile. Ditch your carrier and switch to the uncarrier. And the Subway Sandwich Shop. Fresh is what we do. It's day three of our first take training camp tour about to wrap up here from Richmond, Virginia for Redskins camp. But first, our next guest, he's been shutting down the top receivers in the NFL for 12 seasons. We welcome D'Angelo Hall, free safety to the desk. Thank you so much for being here with oh, us. Man, we we saved the best for last, all right? <laughs> we just We just had Josh Norman on, and you said this is the best secondary you've been around. Why? What makes the secondary so good? Just the energy, the energy deep that these guys bring, the competitiveness we uh, we compete with in practice, and just the talent, you know, from top to bottom. I mean, we are, we are super talented. I'm wondering, in all honesty, you know how much respect I got for you. I'm wondering, in all honesty, how fraudulent y'all might be because every team y'all won against last year, nobody had a winning record. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how your team feels about itself coming into the season, considering how lucky y'all were to play some mediocre teams. No, absolutely we were lucky last year. You know, we were a product of a bad division. You know, I've never been one to, to hide that fact. You know, we were in the playoffs because we were in a terrible division, without a doubt. But, you know, I don't think anybody even picked us to win four games last year. And, you know, we kind of knew that we had to capitalize on opportunities that were in front of us, and that was playing bad teams. And so um, this year, you know, having, having reached the playoffs, I just think it just put a little bit more of a hunger in all these guys' bellies. You know, we feel like if we go out there and compete game in and game out, play in, play out, that we can win games in this league. Like a lot of top players who play a long time at your positions, they transition from corner to safety. What's your favorite thing about playing safety? <laughs> Not having to check receivers. <laughs> you know, um, you know I'm 32 and now. I know, absolutely. You can't you can't beat them up like you used to. You know, you can't, can't touch them. Um, I mean, we were just talking about it. It's an offensive league. You know, touchdowns, 
just sell sell tickets. And so, um, but safety just allows me to be more of a playmaker. You know, I've, I've never said I was a great corner. At one point, I did. Um, but I kind of... You did, but you were. As, as the rules kind of changed, right. you know, my, my philosophy was that, you know, I wasn't a great corner, but I felt like I was a great football player. Mm -hmm. And I think playing free safety allows me to be a football player. You said you can put a fear into quarterbacks. Absolutely. Now, a safety. What do you mean by that? If they want to take the chances and throw, I mean, even Kurt, he's a smart guy. He doesn't, he doesn't take too many shots downfield when he sees me back there. And he understands that I'm a guy who loves to get the ball. You know, I got range. You know, I can still run. And so... Um, you know, I just think when a quarterback sees me back there, they're going to think twice about trying to take a shot. I got to ask you, as somebody who's defended wide receivers, who's been in this league for 13 years, Deshaun Jackson, Pierre Garçon, Jordan Reed, I think is a stud. Yeah. How good, and this kid, Doxon, I mean, how good is this receiving crew in your mind? One of the tops in the league. You know, they don't get the credit, but... At the end of the day, like you said, you got to back it up. And we know when we put those guys on the field, it's 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 going to pose a challenge for uh, for opposing defenses because you can't double this guy. You can't lean this way. Jordan Reed beats. I mean, Philly tried everything. They put corners on him, safeties, linebackers, doubled him. One play, they had three guys on him, and he still scored. So, I mean, his routes are, are better than some of our receivers. Mm. You know, me moving to safety, I have to cover him a lot. And I'm telling our coaches, like, bro, he's harder to cover than the receivers are because wow. he just has so much shake. He comes from a basketball background. He's a bad boy. And, you know, a lot of tight ends, you know, I made the comment he's better than Gronk. Mm -hmm. And Gronk mm -hmm. is all world. He's a great football player. But Gronk doesn't scare me, especially being an ex-corner because I've been against Randy Moss, T.O., Chad, you know, all the best guys, Hall of Famers. And so, you know, Gronk, I'm not scared he's going to beat me deep. He's going to try to body me, possession, you know, possession receiver type of guy where a guy like Jay Reed, when he gives you those shakes, it's like it's like trying to stick a basketball player. I'm going to end it by saying this. To me, that puts even more pressure on Kirk Cousins because you got all the requisite weapons, the job is yours, and yep. you're getting nearly $20 million. I, I mean, damn. <laughs> what, what more you but need? But you gotta like what he's betting on himself. What it's some need? pressure. It's some it's pressure. Right. But you know, we think he can rise to the occasion, yeah. man. And you know, we trust Kurt. Contract and we got all the confidence. Right. Contract, Contract year. Contract always, year. You gotta always show up. a good thing, right? Absolutely. D'Angelo, thank you so much, and thank you to everyone here for having us in Richmond, Virginia. D'Angelo Hall, good luck to you. Thank you. Tomorrow, our road trip continues. Stephen A. Tampa. Yes, we're going James to Tampa. It might be a little crew. hot. I don't know if you're going to be able to wear the jacket though. Hell no, I ain't wearing it. It's going to be. It's going to be a little toasty. We'll be at Bucks Camp. Can't wait for that. A lot of special guests joining us. And thank you so much for everybody.